Cate Vehicle Restorations. So today we're learning about this truck. This truck is a white 666 Prime Mover. So this is owned by Gordon. Gordon has been putting this together for the last four or five years. This truck is massive. He has on a side off truck to get her to where she is now. So at the moment we're in the halfway for the restoration. I'm going to let you know about a few bits. So, this truck was built in November 1943. Roughly about three and a half were built. As you can see, it's seven and a half metres long. It's two and a half metres wide and three metres high. It has four forward and one reverse and a low and a high gearbox. It's a double clutch. So, it does 37 miles an hour. As you can see, the engine was massive. So that was a Hercules engine. It's the second biggest truck engine in World War II. It was made by the US. So this prime mover, what I mean by that is, it would have been used to tow artillery guns and trainers, getting them from field to field. They made lots of types for this vehicle. So it has cranes, fuel trucks, and um, bridge layers as well. So Gordy found this in the local council being used for a salt spreader. Can you imagine the rust on it? As you can see, Gordy's slowly put her back together and she's looking amazing. So what Gordy's done is he's stripped it all down and he's now trying to rebuild it. Every nut and bolt going. She is amazing. So, the next part I'm going to be doing on this truck is to show you a bit more in depth about what it really has inside. Right guys, are you ready to go a bit more in depth about this truck? Follow me this way. Look at the size of that engine. That's a Hercules engine. So, with this engine, okay, this here is the air compressor. So this does the brakes, okay, which I didn't know, I thought it just had normal brakes, like a car, but it doesn't. This is actually made all of air. So if you have no air, you have no brakes, which is not good. These three little pots here are the oil filters. As you can see, it's a big engine. You need your oil filter pots. Follow me on this way. Oh, she's a big girl. So, as you can see in here, the steering wheel is massive. It makes me look tiny. So, with the steering wheel as well, okay, it's not power steering. It's, you've got to really steer up. Down here are the gauges. There's a lot of gauges to read while you're driving along. Down here, is the starter button. Okay, so your foot would have to go on the starter button and the accelerator to get it going. Now, the next part I didn't know, yet again, is the handbrake. So at the moment, it sounds really odd, but this is now off. Okay, it's upright. Yes, it's back to front. So this handbrake, for me to put it on, has to go down. And when I take it back up again, it's off. So that's a bit strange. Follow me on this way. I've got to get out like a lady. So this is the fuel tank. It is massive, as you can see. To the body which is this here back in the day it would have been steel but to save money and to save materials they will change it to wood they changed this in 1943 okay so as we walk back round there's some other bits on it as well okay 
I can't believe the size of it, to be fair. It is really big. Okay. So, we've got any car, you've got to have wheels. Can you guess how many wheels are on this truck? Oh, close. There's 10 wheels on this truck. Can you believe that? So, with all trucks, you need to have a battery. Okay, I'm gonna let you into a little secret apartment. That's where the batteries are in. Okay, there's only one battery. I thought it would be loads because obviously it's a big truck. No, it only needs one. So, I can't wait for Gordy to get this going and we can take it to shows. Okay, he has done so well on this truck. I'm very proud of Gordon and the boys too on what they do. But I'll tell you what today, we've actually finished. So thank you for watching. And don't forget, we're on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. Okay, take care guys.